Hey guys, welcome to the first AKS Spotlight. We're in Hilton, there's loads of interesting businesses in Hilton and what we thought would be a nice thing to do is try and tell the stories really of the different sort of characters, different businesses in the area and kind of give you an insight into businesses in Hilton effectively. And we are starting with our friends at TLC, which is our favorite place to come and get food from. Uh, so we thought we'd yeah, find out a little bit more about it. This is Leanne. Hello. Are you of it? <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, three and a half years just about now, yeah. So. Yeah, because you it was a catering business Yes, yeah, so our business has yeah. been running for 10 years um, mm -hmm. and previously we delivered, we did senior meals, buffets, yeah. celebration cakes, afternoon teas. Um, it, during lockdown we were delivering 100 afternoon teas every weekend. Really? But I guess moving here is still a pretty big shift in business model, It wasn't was it? and obviously being on the back of the building it was, is this going to work? We're quite hidden here. Yeah. Um, but because we'd already established a really solid reputation we thought, mm. you know what, I'd rather have a go and it not work yeah. than live with the regret of wondering Definitely. how that had gone. Yeah. Um, obviously we opened and the queues were all the way around the building. I was going to say, there were literally queues mad. around the building weren't it there? Was mad. How did everyone know that it was opening and it, it, well we just obviously put it all out on socials put it on spotted hilton yeah and then that was it they were all queuing it was so i guess that first day you probably didn't know what to expect, didn't know what to expect. we were sold out um we were selling out early every single day i was literally doing 17 hour days a week a yeah. day it was it yeah was bonkers because i've always said in your job it's so hard to know like if you waste stuff that massively eats into your property, but equally you don't want to be selling out at midday, do you? When no, there's more, we were. so how do you know what to, you know, like, and I guess the weather as well, right? If it's a nice day, people are probably more likely out. If it's drizzly, less wet so, days like, do affect us more yeah. because obviously we are predominantly a takeaway business, so yeah. we have this the courtyard here for people during the summer, but predominantly mm. we are takeaway, so the weather does play quite a big part in it as well. People don't tend to want to come out as much when it's raining, so you do sort of have to factor that in that you're going to have quiet days when the weather's yes. not so good yeah. um, and then you know maximize yeah the other days so that first morning then you sort of opened and you see a massive queue and yeah. that because you must be nervous right when you like, open like it's a absolutely bonkers because it was like right we just wing this we just do it <laughs> we yeah. did because you've got a massive social media following well, as well haven't got, you yeah, like thousands really of people yeah. follow your facebook yeah. page haven't they like, that's been sort of built over the years and then I think the afternoon teas were the turning point and the sort of change and shift in direction for us as a business. Yeah. And that's where the cakes, you know, took off. Yeah. And then here we are. We just have a lot of the same characters that we, are we here. We have a lot of repeat custom, yeah, which mm. for me is is the best part of it because you know you're doing the right thing and yeah. everybody keeps coming back and yeah. it's like these hot cobs that we do in winter, you put it on the socials and then people are just rushing in to buy them. So yeah, yeah that's that's really nice because you know you're getting it right. Yes. Um, yeah. How does it take you to make everything the night before? Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll prep things the day before and then I'm here really early putting all the fresh cream on, making sure yeah. everything's uber fresh and, and nice. Yeah. So we've got a massive catering oven and mm -hmm. we can sort of bulk bake and really like, we, we're fastened because we know what we're doing and yeah. recipes stay in here. You don't have to have them written down. You no. Just bang, bang, bang. You've and got we, some stuff that's every day and some stuff you drop it in and out. Like. Yeah, we have our staple. So the brownies, which I got a great taste award on those, yeah. they have always been the best of everything, the best of the sales. Um, cookie pie, Rocky Road, cookie slice, they're like our staple bakes. Um, pig and blanket sausage rolls, plain. Adam's mm -hmm. like, he does all the runny yolk scotch eggs there, yeah. so popular as well. Because I think it's a Jack Daniels sausage roll. Yeah, you like that one. Yeah, really, <laughs> like, please, when someone sends you a message specifically just to say, this is unreal, yeah. you know it's good, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Both of us are always coming up with new ideas and flavours, like the cakes change every day, apart from obviously our staples. We change things, so Adam will change all the flavours on the sausage rolls, like the yeah. festive ones will be coming out soon, because obviously everybody yeah. really loves all And then that. you do like the Christmas Eve boxes, yeah. Yeah. And you, you, Pre-orders, like yeah. we do we do really good on those for Christmas. Yeah. Where what do you get want. the ideas from? Because I don't think many bakeries do that sort of thing, do they? Like, I'm just very creative, and I think that's the thing. Like I've always baked all my life; it's always been a hobby. But back in the day, it was more cakes were just like a square cake with a little bit of writing on it. Yeah. Now cake is more like a form of art. So mm. it's, for me, I, I just love coming up with new ideas and yeah. and creating things and. Just having different things. Do you eat many time. cakes? 
<laughs> I do. I taste everything yeah. that I make. Yeah. But the, the, we, we do look at things now. We always make a joke about it. We oh, I can't eat that. That's like £3.50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, we do. We do enjoy eating. I'd, I could, I'd be a disaster if I was here. Honestly, I, an absolute, I have no self control whatsoever. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. I mean, have you got quite good at predicting now then what, yes, yeah. what you need? Because, yeah. you know, do you even have it that. Like, you know, roughly, like if it's a Monday, it might be a certain amount. If it's a Saturday, it might be a certain amount. Yeah, so Tuesdays and Sundays are the steadier days of the week. So we know on those days we don't need as much stock. As the week goes on, it climbs. And and Sunday's a relatively newer day for you. You never used to. Yeah, we didn't do them straight away in the beginning. I mean, summer, Sundays are really busy because all the cyclists will come and we've got all the racking out for them to park the bikes. And it can be really busy in the summer, just Mm. steadier in in the winter. Yeah, Yeah. it's busy. Things, Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, I guess days. Fridays like treat down it. People yeah. are more like it's funny as well, and it makes no. It's the same calories whenever you eat it. But somehow, yeah. if it's Friday, it feels like it's fine. They've like, earned it by the end of the week. What's your favourite cake you make? Ooh, um, well, I work really hard on the brownie recipe. That I think that will always be. I, I like my chocolate, so yeah. that probably, if I had to pick, maybe the millionaire brownie. Yeah, the only thing that I'm, nice. I'm not as keen on and wouldn't be my go-to would be the cookie stuff. But then they are obviously massively most, yeah. popular. But yeah. for me, I'm more yeah. either a cake or. So brownie. I guess it's well, then you've transitioned. You've also got the, the card business as well that you. Yeah. Doing. So that is like sort of a hobby, really. Um, come about my. How do you have my, time for a hobby? <laughs> that's my switch off downtime. So my daughter said to me. Mine's Netflix. Me. <laughs> I do that sometimes yeah. as well. Um, my da- it was my daughter who said, because I've always drawn as well all my life, being artistic, mm. um, I drew all the wall in there yes, while we yeah. were, Adam was doing the work and, and I did all of that, like when I got an hour, pop down, do a little bit. Um, so I've always drawn on paper, drawn on a wall, and then it was, she introduced me to digital art, um, yeah. which I'd never thought of, and it took a bit of getting the hang of. But mm. now I've, I've got it and I can just sit there. It's easy to sit there at night doing a little bit of drawing and... Yeah. Yeah, so somebody be. came and bought eight last week and I was like, oh, you do a little happy dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same for our staff, like they're fantastic and yeah. they're the same, they, they love it. They get the same Well, because you've had the same get. team for ages, haven't you? And everyone yeah, cares yeah. loads about Selena's it. Selena's been with us like... from the beginning. Yeah. Um, Becky's been with us for over a year now. So yeah, and my daughter works here now as well on the weekends. Does she? she loves it. She's got such high standards. Yeah. She she likes making coffee especially, and she everything has to be just yeah. so. And she's also obsessed with the hot cobs. That's her little lunch treat. Yeah. <laughs> so is this always what you wanted to do then, growing up, or was it just you sort of? No, had the... because like I said earlier, cakes were just it was just your bog standard square birthday cake with a bit of writing on it. Yeah. Um, but when when we started the business, we started with the senior meals, and then I was just, I guess that gave me an opportunity to grow really and practice mm. things. And then I used to do really extreme celebration cakes like monkeys, puppies, yeah. like the pie cake. I did a pie, and with all like sort of gravy with like fondant, oh, mushy yeah. peas, and yeah. and meat coming spilling out of it. Those sorts of cakes took me about two days to make, so I don't have time for those anymore. Yeah. Um, but we do have options for celebration cakes. Brownie stacks are yes. massive. Yeah. They're so popular. You've even done some wedding cakes in there. Yeah, we've yeah. done them. Um, so the grazing side of things is really popular at the moment. So mm. I do like a semi naked cake, and then we have all grazing stuff Rocky Road, brownies, cookies. Yeah. All the, the most popular ones that we do, people have mm. them as little pieces on boards. And you know they just look really good. And they're different. They're unique. So what's yeah. been the best thing about it? Um, just I think again with the same people coming in all the time, and we get a lot of feedback. We build relationships with our customers as well, and they come mm. in and they'll have a chat while they're yeah. waiting for for their order and mm. getting to know people and. There's one particular person who always comes in and he has a scotch egg while he's waiting for his panini. And he asked Adam if he could do any chilli ones because he hadn't done those ones for a while. And so we listen to our customers. We, yeah. we take the personal requests as well. Mm. And it's just nice seeing people enjoy yes. what, you're, what you've created. I guess it's what's the worst thing about it? It is hard work. I bet it is. It is hard yeah. work. Because um, it's very reliant on you isn't it yeah, and the sort of the, yeah, the me prep and Adam the make everything so it, it is it's hard work 
um, the behind the scenes part that nobody sees. Yeah. You know, all of yeah. the ordering, mm. sorting everything out, all the books and stuff. It, it's yeah. that part of the business is is hard work really. Mm. If I could just stand baking all day, it'd be yeah. fine. But the yeah. summer holiday is busier than normal. Yeah, really busy. They are, yeah. I guess, because kids yeah. are off and yeah. you need occupying them, and oh, it's yeah. gonna get a treat, and it's yeah. it's probably a lot of that, isn't it? That, uh, that it's it really comes from. Yeah. And Christmas and Halloween. Halloween's massive, so we're well, always. That's because you decorate like it, you make a big thing of it, isn't you? On yes, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we we do late nights. We've done that from the beginning, and it's just nice. All the kids come dressed up. We do a little best dress like competition things. So somebody can win some cakes, and um, do all the spooky milkshakes. Do all the sort of coloured things like yeah. the cookie pie with like the red top and I'll do like bloody brownies and stuff like that so yeah because yeah. yeah. people do travel a bit at times do. as well don't they to sort of to, to come here we've had yeah people sort of travel we've had people coming from Swad we've had people coming from Stoke people yeah. make the journey just to come here which is amazing uh, it is isn't it really because that's is. you know yeah. you're going well out your way how many yeah. bakeries must you drive past to yeah. sort of to, to come here yeah. but it's just not what you typically think of as a baker is it like no. in terms of what we're a little bit different right? look we yeah, appreciate yeah. that because i think to me like if it's it's something i think a lot of people would just be interested in to kind of get more of an insight to what yeah. it's actually like so i think it's been hopefully interesting interesting to me i'm sure interesting to other people thank too you. thank you thank you Cheers. Cheers.